with a smile The boy is surely his father's child And when I grow up I wanna be just like you When I grow up I wanna be just like you I wrote that song after a preacher in um Phoenix, Arizona, asked me what I want to be when I grow up. My name may not be spoken in the social crowd. Headlines in the daily news may never spell it out. But somewhere in the book of life, there's a record there on me. My name is written there in gold for everyone to see. He knows my name, my name is written down in glory. He knows my name, my name is in the book of life. Angels know who I am, they rejoice the day I came into the kingdom. And now he knows my name, oh he knows my name, my name is written down in glory. Well he knows my name. My name is in the book of life. Angels know who I am. They rejoice the day I came into the family. And now he knows my name. Sing it with me. He knows my name. My name is written down in glory. Well, he knows my name. My name is in the book of life. Angels know who I am. They rejoice the day I came into the family. And now he knows my name. Well, he knows my name. He knows my name. He knows my name. He knows my name. Thank you. Uh, well, it's really good to be here tonight, and I don't know. How many of you never seen me before in person like this? Well, I know it can be a culture shock. And uh, so uh, we'll pray for God to really give you a lot of love and patience and understanding and, and uh, until, you know, you kind of get used to me. And then after you kind of get used to me, it may not be nearly half as bad as you think it is. It must be pretty bad they're turning out the lights. Uh, I'm here tonight to have a good time. And somehow, you know, I've had a, a lot of pastors introduce me and say, Aaron Wilburn's not here to entertain. And somehow we have, we think entertainment is something bad. And uh, I was telling somebody the other day, if I'd been out in a boat and there was a storm and I thought I was about to drown... And a man came walking on the water, I'm entertained. Yeah. Or I'm at a wedding and all of a sudden there's no wine and a man takes a pitcher of water and he pours it out and all of a sudden it's the best wine that's been served all day. He's got my attention. And uh, tonight, I hope maybe that I'll give you a little something that you haven't had all day long. And you'll say... I'm entertained. And also at the same time, you'll be saying, I'm blessed. God has blessed me, and that's the reason I'm here to entertain. And uh, if uh, God hadn't come into my life, then I would be out somewhere else, probably in a nightclub here in Evansville or somewhere else tonight. But since God came into my life, made a difference in me, and it made a difference in my songs. And since it made a difference in my songs, I want to sing a song that'll make a difference. Now, while I've got your attention, if I do, I'd like to sing a song that's, this is not a gospel song, but it's gospel truth. And uh, I was riding along in uh, Georgia. How many of you ever, ever rode through Georgia? Did any, any of you ever spend any time there that you didn't intend to spend? 
Well, I think there ought to be a club because I think there's a lot of folks that have done that. Everything in this song is true. It talks about riding on Georgia back roads where angels fear to tread. That means we had to ride in the ditch to get where we were going because they were working on the road, okay? Uh, it mentions Barney Five. He's my favorite guy on television, on the old Andy Griffith shows. Well, if I didn't meet him, I met his brother. And uh, anyway, this song will kind of explain itself, and it kind of goes like this. Everything in it is true, and I wrote it just like it happened. It's called Georgia Justice, and it goes something like this. In fact, it goes exactly like this. Eighty-two south through Georgia is a nice, easy drive. I was moving along, just humming a song with my crews on 55. A car moved on around me, tail lights was all I saw. I saw flashing lights behind me, pulled out over to let him after the man that was breaking the law. But he pulled in behind me, motioned me out of my black machine. He said, let me see your license, boy, and his voice was low and mean. I said, sir, I wasn't speeding. A mean look was all I got. He said, shut up, I never asked you if you were speeding or not. Well, he wrote me a warning ticket, but I tried to make him understand. I was only going 55, he should have been after that other man. He said, you call me a liar. This was a warning ticket, kid. Then he tore it up and said, this will be for real when I write it. And he did. He wrote my ticket, 12 miles over 55. He said, follow me into Leesburg. So I got in my car to drive. We drove down Georgia back roads where angels feared to tread. The great leader of Georgia justice was driving on ahead. I want you to know I'm Southern. You all and hush your mouth. But if you're looking for Georgia justice, you won't find it on 82 South. Well, the sheriff wouldn't listen to my story when I walked in the courthouse hall. So I bought me lemonade and sat down to learn my lesson on Georgia law. I said, I want to see the judge. They said she wasn't there. Three hours and a half I waited. Her beautician was doing her hair. She came breezing in so happy. I looked at her and thought, son, if she looks like that now, I wonder what she looked like before she had it done. Well, she listened to my story and I said, your honor, it's the truth. And old Barney Five stood off to the side with a lie between every tooth. She said, that'll be $34. She turned to someone else and said, I'm always tough before I eat, and I hadn't had my dinner yet. It was either lie and say I'm guilty or something I'd never done. The price of telling the truth, she said, would be a $500 bond. If Leesburg County, Georgia justice is anything like I saw, I need to take someone with me to protect me from the law. I know the devil went down to Georgia, but I would have never guessed. They gave him a car with a flashing light and put a badge upon his chest. If you're ever in Leesburg, Georgia, and you need something done to your hair, take $34. That's what it'll cost to get your hair curled there.